As we begin our unit on polynomials, it will be very important that you are comfortable with the new polynomial vocabulary words. Knowing these vocabulary words will help make sure that you know exactly what you're being asked to do in each type of problem. So now that you've read through the first set of notes I shared with you, let's go ahead and jump into the first practice problems. Find the number of terms in this polynomial. If you recall from your notes, a polynomial is the sum of multiple monomials. In this case, how many terms, how many monomials do we have making up this polynomial? First, we have negative g cubed. The plus and minus, remember, is the beginning of a new term. So we have a plus 9 to the power of 2 as our second term, plus 10g as our third term, minus 10 as our fourth term. There are four terms in this polynomial. Find the number of terms in this polynomial. There is only one term as there is no addition or subtraction, so that is one. Find the number of terms in this polynomial. First we have negative 2j. This subtraction is the start of the second term, so we have a total of two terms. Now we are being asked to find the degree of this polynomial. If you recall from your notes, because we have the same base in all three terms here, t, we look for the highest exponent. In this case, 10 is the highest exponent, therefore that is the degree of this polynomial. Find the degree of this polynomial. Again, look for the base with the highest exponent, which in this case is 4. Now you're asked to do two things. First, find the number of terms, and second, the degree of this polynomial. Again, two terms, because the subtraction is the start of a second term, so negative r being the first, minus 3 being the second, two terms. What is the degree? r is the only variable here. What is the exponent of r? It's an invisible one we have there, therefore 1 is the degree. Find the number of terms. Here we have one term and the degree of this polynomial, the degree 3, because 3 is the exponent. And you'll continue this set of problems in the same way. Let's skip on forward to the next type of problems. Once you get into the 80 section, you will be asked to classify polynomials. Either you'll be asked to classify by degree or to classify by terms. In this case, let's take a look at the words that come up here. You'll notice these words come up in your notes. Linear, meaning to the power of 1. Quadratic, meaning to the power of 2. Cubic, meaning to the power of 3. None of these in this case refers to anything beyond the third degree. So a fourth degree polynomial, a fifth degree polynomial, and so forth. So here in the polynomial, the exponent happens to be 3, therefore we have a cubic polynomial. Now we have another set of words. Monomial, remember, refers to one term. Binomial refers to two terms. Trinomial, three terms. None of these would refer to four terms or beyond for that. So we have a total of one term here, meaning this is a monomial. Now we are classifying by degree. Let's look for the exponent, invisible exponent, meaning it's a one or linear in this case. Classify this polynomial. So we have one term here. Notice they're all linked together by invisible multiplication symbols. They are not separated by subtractions. So the subtraction is the start of the second term, that's two the addition, the start of the third term, a total of three terms, that is therefore a trinomial. Now we're being asked to classify by degree, and here we see a power of two and a three, the higher one being a three, therefore this is cubic. How many terms do we have? One, two, three, four terms, therefore that is beyond a trinomial, a polynomial four terms. So therefore, this is none, none of these. Now, how many terms are we given here? Here, this is one term because, again, they are not separated by addition or subtraction. And the degree, now that we have two different variables, 
we have to not only take the highest exponent, but actually combine these exponents, 3 and 2, 5. Classify this polynomial. It's an exponent of 4. That means it's a fourth degree polynomial this time. So none of these, because that option is not given to us. And lastly, find the number of terms of, and the degree of this polynomial. Number of terms, here's our first term. Addition is the start of the second one. Subtraction, start of the third. The minus, the start of the fourth. And the addition, the start of the fifth. A total of five terms. The degree. Let's look here. Here we have the highest x exponent is 3. The highest y exponent, 3. Therefore, when you add the 2, that is a total of 6. And we submit it as is. Be sure to reach out with any questions, whether that's by email or by reaching out to your peers for support.